still on Kenya though. I was really sad like two weeks ago when I heard that Mama Lucy Kibaki, that is the former first lady of Kenya, passed away at the age of 75. She was the one that redefined the role of a first lady in Africa. Like seriously, very well known for a few controversies, you know, and especially for not being afraid of anybody and for having a little, a little hot temper, just a little. And how can you forget Lucy? Ah, I'm going to miss Lucy. Lucy, my Lucy. <laughs> Hey, oh God, I still remember 2007 when this woman slapped an MC at the state house during Independence Day celebration because the MC made a mistake when he was introducing her. So the MC introduced the first lady as Lucy Wambui instead of saying Lucy Kibaki. And that was what made her mad that day because you guys know that there's a lady in Kenya by the name of uh, Mary Wambui who was allegedly Kibaki's second wife. A lot of people believed, you know, was also married to Kibaki. Kibaki. So you can see why she would be very, very upset if people are saying that uh, your husband, they see one woman and then they wanted to introduce you and they mistakenly gave you that woman's last name. Uh, anyway, Lucy got up from her seat in front of everybody. This was an Independence Day celebration. She got up and she slapped the MC, right? Life and direct. Eh? And then she went back to her seat and guess what? The president could not say anything. Unfortunately though, the only non-government owned TV station that captured this dirty slap was forced to delete it right there. Lucy got up from her seat, walked to the man and slapped him before returning to her seat. But their joy of a scoop was short-lived. The cameraman was summoned to one of the rooms at State House and watched as the footage was erased. And of course, all the government-owned TV stations that captured it will never air such a thing. So till today, we don't have a video of when she slapped this MC, but everybody in Kenya heard about it. And speaking of having a secret second wife, Lucy made sure that her husband held a press conference just to tell everybody that he has only one wife. I want to make it very clear that I have only one dear wife, Lucy, who is here. Only one wife. Only one wife. Stop it. <laughs> I feel so bad for the man because Lucy literally took over that press conference. Any questions you can ask? Anybody? Yes, ask now. You have been tormenting us. I don't know what to get out of it. You get in and here it came to your studios last night to attack you. Telling lies, you, foreign journalists, ambassadors, name them. Wait a minute. Did you guys hear the man breathing heavily whenever Lucy was speaking as if he was going to say something or was going to stop her? Ask now or never. From here you go write more lies. I'll be with you. Now is the president. President, president, I'm telling you, everybody in Kenya knew that Lucy was the one in charge, especially when she slapped an MP. That was a Gitobu Imonyala. That one tried to sue her. She also reportedly slapped a state house controller. <laughs> I'm telling you, this was the first lady that was slapping people left and right. <laughs> there was one time like this that her neighbor was too loud. They were playing music at midnight. The first lady got up, she marched to her neighbor's house and she ordered them to turn down the music. When newspapers reported the story the next day, she didn't like that story. So she decided to stage a protest. So she stormed the nation newspaper around 11 p.m. at night, demanding that the reporter that wrote the story must be arrested by the police. She confiscated notebooks, pens, cameras, and even mobile phones. She ordered Nairobi Provincial Police Officer Kingori Mwangi to call the Commissioner of Police and tell him that she was at the nation's center and had no intention of leaving. Oh my god, Lucy Kibaki. I'm going to miss that woman. Do you guys know that she was there till 4 a.m.? 4 Ah, I'm telling you, this was a power first lady and she didn't leave until she successfully slapped a cameraman. An agitated Mrs. Kibaki at one point slapped Katie and cameraman Clifford Derrick hard across the cheek. I heard that you are looking for me at the Police Station. That's to do that. You don't please, care. Please, 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 please. So was very very handy when Lucy was a first lady of Kenya but jokes aside though I like to express my condolences to the people of Kenya on her death this woman was a great advocate for women a great advocate for children I love the fact that she believed in gender equality and she inspired women to participate in politics most importantly I challenge women to aggressively seek leadership positions 
I mean aggressively. <laughs> you women give things easily, many don't. I found some old pictures of Lucy and I like to share them with you. These are really nice pictures. I was like, wow, that's Lucy, like what? She's a really beautiful woman. Of course, she's one of the three women that inspired me to want to be first lady someday. It's her and then Grace Mugabe of Zimbabwe and of course, Patience Jonathan of Nigeria. These are my inspirations, you know? But at the same time though, I don't think that it's a good thing that African officials or former officials or big people in Africa continuously die abroad. I'm still looking forward to the time that we would have hospitals of international standard in different parts of Africa because at your old age, you want to die with your loved ones surrounding you. You know, your children, your grandchildren. But again, you guys know I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs>